uh, President Zuma Malod would not be the first person in this country to face detention without trial. Simply because he's a former president, simply because as it was cited in the, in the judge, majority judgment, because he's a former president uh, and because he's what was called a constitutional being. So it means there will be no other case ever that, that would, that would uh, uh, ever mirror this. This is just a uh, Zuma law. Because there, there, will no, uh, uh, there will never again be an 80 year old uh, former head of state who has, uh, uh, your logic was talking about uh, facts. But you can put those arguments before the CCC. Think. No, 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 my lord. Uh, they are relevant for this uh, uh, case because it shows you the the amount of exceptional. Remember, I'm addressing the simple question of exceptional circumstances. I'm saying the exceptional circumstances here are that your lordship will be sending someone in circumstances which, which have never happened. That's that's uh, that, that that if well that may except I thought exceptional circumstances means exactly that that is something that has never happened number one and will is unlikely to happen again that's what I'm, that's really the only uh, point I'm making that so exceptional that it has never happened in the past according to campaign ADCG but it will never happen again in the future either because the, those circumstances will never if that is not exceptional then nothing ever will be uh, exceptional. We are dealing with a repetitive, recalcitrant lawbreaker in the form of Mr. Zuma. He has now come to ask you to assist him in breaking the law further. You should reject that. Two, we have a strange scenario in which your lordship has been asked to suspend the order of a superior court. Again, you should reject that. Three, we have a, another situation where Mr. Zuma has continued his law-breaking attitude. Now, apparently also um, drawing some inspiration from the conduct of the police. But your lordship should pay no heed to that. In situations as difficult as the current situations. Mr. Mbofu spoke about uh, security concerns, but it's precisely in situations such as this that the law needs to be expressed clearly. The law needs to be pronounced without ambiguity. It's precisely in situations such as this that the judiciary needs to speak without ambivalence about the correct legal position. Today, the correct legal position couldn't be clearer. If we were not dealing with a case such as this that is fraught with external elements, it would be very clear from the outset what the correct thing is, which is to dismiss the current application. So these external features of the case cannot in any way, I'm talking only about the threat of violence, which is hinted in the replying affidavit. That's the only external feature I'm referring to, which is hinted in the papers and the fact that the police have taken into account a security assessment. Those should not detain us, nor should they dictate what the correct legal position ought to be. So, Your Lordship, we respectfully ask you to dismiss the application and order Mr. Zuma to pay costs.